Phil Jackson, thanks for joining us. Um, just can you give us your thoughts on the match there, please? I think overall, I think the chances we create, we should, first 40 minutes, I think we should just put the, the game to bed. But uh, we give them a leg up, and then second half, we have more than enough chances to finish the game. I think nearly the end, it was a wee bit nervy. They get their second goal, and then we've still got chances after that to come away with, come away with the win. But it's not to be, and we just need to move on for it. And what's the feeling amongst the, the dressing room there? Just deflated, just deflated from the game. It's just we put a lot of effort in it, and I think for large spells it we we worked really well together. And it's just about that final bit and in the final four. We just need to put the ball in the back in net. Um, I don't know if it's just a bit of nerves and a bit of just lack of confidence. I think as soon as we go to not up, we start moving the ball well. But as soon as well, that's the first goal we've conceded, and I thought we reacted well in the second half, well the first five minutes of the second half, and then. Just need to put our chances away and then it makes it easier for the back to, to back work. So as you mentioned that's the first goal you can see did that affect the players mentally? Personally no, I don't think so. Um but we knew that throughout the season we knew that was we were only gonna keep holding at clean sheets, but I thought we reacted really well. Um although we conceded right on half time, I think we came out and we had chance right at the start and it's just about being composed in the box and I'm sure if we keep creating chances like that, we'll score a lot of goals. Well, on the flip side, when you, when you hit the bar, hit the post, goalkeeper pulls off saves, you miss first half 11 chances. Does that yeah. affect you mentally? Does that... No, because as it showed on the pitch, we just kept going. It's you get a bit frustrated, for me personally at the back, when you're creating so many chances, um, it just adds a wee bit of pressure because we're only a goal ahead. So if you go two or three goals ahead, and it, if, relax everybody on the pitch but we just need to go on and I don't know just find a way to get a bit of composure in the box and scoring goals. Obviously still in scoring the, the, the second goal and did, did you, how do you feel that came about? Was it a change of the formation? Did the three at the back? Did it, it caught you out or were you prepared for that? Um, I th to be fair we, we worked all week on what they were going to do and balls in behind and dealing with second balls and I felt we had dealt with them up to that point. Um, we controlled the last spells of the game but I think we spoke about it when we went in half time. I think too many has switched off when the ball get set back and played in. Personally, I felt I felt the ball went out, but that's no excuse to to stop. You need to react to the to the ball, and we never. And they were the first to react, and it gave them a go and gave them a leg up. Okay. And there's almost a Korean next week. What's your thoughts for that match? Well, it's a break from the league, so it's, it's another chance to step back and. and this is a wee break for the week, so we'll, we'll hopefully bounce back, get a win, and it's always good to get a cup run. So, excellent, Jack. Thanks for joining us. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you.